<clears throat> what is up, you guys? Me again. As you can see by my hair, I just woke up. So, obviously, you can see in the title of this video of what the video is going to be about. Um... I'm just joking, you guys. I act, I act weird sometimes when I just wake up. Anyways, um, this music is so beautiful. It's so peaceful, so relaxing. I believe God made this music for us to listen to so that we, our souls, can be nourished. Because it's so pretty. Um, <clears throat> so, why, uh, yeah, so people say God is all-powerful, so why can't he do anything? Well, here's the thing about that. <coughs> A few reasons. Yes, it is true, first of all, it is true that God can do anything that's within his character, not against his character. What do I mean by that? Sin. God cannot sin. He's holy. He's righteous. He hates sin. God has never committed one sin for eternity in the past and never will for eternity in the future. He is holy, sinless. So that's one right there. He can't do anything that's sinful. He can only do things that are holy and righteous and just and love. Secondly, um, by the way, people will are, like to argue about that. Say, if God can't sin, then why did he create evil in the first place? Why did God create the devil? Why did he create Satan? You know, that's something basically only God has the comprehension to understand. But he has given us some insight on why that is. <clears throat> okay, let me clarify that first, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. God did not create evil. The devil created evil when he sinned against God in heaven. <clears throat> God created Lucifer. God created Lucifer, the angel. He didn't create the demon. He created the angel. And even though... <coughs> sorry. Even though it is true that God did see the devils and it, the other fallen angels' future before even creating them and knew that they would rebel against <coughs> against them in the first place, if that, if that happens again, I'm going to drink some water. Um... He still did, he still did because we in this world, <clears throat> one second, yeah, so, like I said, We in this world have to choose with our own free will who we will serve. We have to see the consequences of what sin brings. That is why that is why God did not cast Satan out of existence alongside his demons. Because he needed everybody to see the cause, the consequences of what what sins bring the causes or uh, the, the consequences of what sin brings and for them to still choose with their own free will that God so lovingly mercifully gave to us who to serve so that is why right there that is why you know sin brings us to death and God's so loving that he gave us free will. 
He gave us free will to choose who we want to serve. Him or Satan. Sin. Um, <clears throat> so God did not create the devil. He did not create Satan. Lucifer created those. He created himself as Satan. All right. So that there's that clarification right there. The second thing was it the first or second? Thing? Anyways, uh, I, let's just say the second thing is um, yes, God can do anything. Again, He can do anything that's holy, that's not sinful. So w- people ask, then why? Why doesn't he step in to the for those people who are dying and are breaths away from being saved or from uh, being killed? Just like why? Well, some of that part we can just lovingly say to God, God, I don't understand this. We leave it up to you, God. We leave it up to you. We trust. In you, that you, whatever you do, you do for a sole purpose. For it's just. Whatever you do is just. If we don't understand something from God, don't dwell on it. Just say, God, we understand that we won't understand or be able to fathom the, some of the things that you didn't reveal to us that are comprehensible. And God honors that very well. He uh, He loves it when we do that. Loves it because He He keeps it from us for a reason. Um. So. And also, God, you know, will God ever give immortality to people of on Earth? Yes, He will, but not on Earth. Not while we are alive. After we die. God is going to give his church, his saved, born-again children, immortality, eternal life through Jesus Christ after we die. We have eternal life the second we place our faith in Jesus Christ and get saved and born again. But we don't experience that eternal life until after we leave our fleshly bodies. What do I mean by that? Our, when we die, we start, before we die, we, uh, we start to lose consciousness. And then a couple minutes later, while we are unconscious, we're just floating above our bodies in our soul form, our spirit bodies. Um, And that body is the one that holds eternal life. Not this fleshly sinful body, but our spirit and our soul does. He gives eternal everlasting life for all who believe in Jesus Christ. Amen to that. So, you know, if you ask yourself, ask me, Zach, so what happens if somebody in the world, a scientist or something like that, discovers a, like, uh, discovers a way to miraculously create a pill that will give them immortality so they'll ne- they will never see death on earth, never, ever die? Well, A... That's completely absurd to even think about and impossible. And if it wasn't, guess what? The second, if they poured their, if they poured 65 years into making that, that pill. The second they do that and they, they see it works and they took it and then they, all of their wounds and all of their organ failure and everything just miraculously heals like all the time, every single time they get hurt or injured or something like that, guess what? The second they do that, the second they f- they figure out that they discover that they made a pill that is that gives them immortality, God will come right in. God will come right in. Even if they spent 65, 100 years making the pill, God will come swoop down right in and take that away from them. He would take it away from them. Just just like that. Our God is so good. Our God is so good, you guys. It is spectacular. Our God is so awesome. It's so amazing. 
Because that's not within his plan. That's not within his will to do. First of all, it's not even possible. But if you want to just go beyond that and say, oh, it is possible. Somebody might do it. Well, let me tell you, God will come right down and take away their immortality. Just like that. Just like that. What about teleporters? Like machines that are able to get people around uh, to different countries that they step into and they press a button, whatever, like a, a button that has whatever country's name on it that they want to go to. And as soon as they press that button, they're there in 20 seconds. Again, I highly, this one, I don't know for sure. Well, I do know for sure, actually. Let me, let me rephrase that. Because we are seeing signs so well right now that Jesus is coming back very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. So I don't believe 100% that a, a, a machine technology that would take the, probably the next 2,000 years to come up with in, blueprints and instructions of how to design, how to make it happen... I don't see that happening because I don't see us here in the next 30 years from now, let alone 2,000 years. Also, you know, God is a God of order. God is a God of order. Why doesn't he give us superpowers? Well, because God is a God of order. He doesn't work that way. He works in mysterious ways, but he doesn't work that way. God is all powerful. He can do any, he has the power to do anything that brings him glory, that is holy, that is not sinful whatsoever. He has the power to do anything at all. Anything. Look, he created the entire universe. And I don't, the Bible doesn't say how long it took him to create the entire universe, but. If he created the entire earth in seven days, let me tell you, he probably created the universe in, I don't know, like 10 days, maybe? So he can do anything, anything at all that's holy. But he is a God of order. He won't do anything that is unorderly. That is why we live in a world of order right here. Otherwise, if we didn't live in a world of order, what do you guys think would have would have happened? Well, let me tell you. There'd be chaos everywhere. There wouldn't be a justice system. There wouldn't be prisons to hold the murderers and the rapists and the child molesters and the people who want to rob people and commit whatever sin, whatever crimes they want to and you get locked up for it, there wouldn't be any of that. They would be scattered across the world in society, making it a heck of a lot more dangerous for people to live in. So that, there would be chaos everywhere. And that's what they're going to see during the seven-year tribulation after the rapture happens. Going to be chaos everywhere. Looters, robbers, Rapists, um, not child molesters, though. Thank goodness, because listen to this: no child is going to be left on earth, because all children are taken to heaven in the rapture, because they're under the age of accountability. So glory to be to God for that. Um, but there will be murderers still. Um. So yeah, you guys, it's just it's gonna be a terrible time if you are left behind. So get saved now, Romans ten nine. Um Also he doesn't give us superpowers because what do you think would happen if we had superpowers? Well, let me tell you what I think would happen. We would be even more destructive um, we're bad enough as human beings without superpowers 
So how much more bad would we be with them? God is a God is a God of order, a God of justice. He's righteous, holy, loving, merciful. He loves you so much. Never forget that. He loves you so, so very, very much. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, and so do I. If I didn't love you, why would I be making these videos for people to learn how, uh, of how to get saved and go to heaven? To escape eternal hellfire. I wouldn't be making these if I did not love you guys. So, I love all human beings. Because I have the love of God in my heart. I have His Spirit. My heart does not have the capability of hating. I hate people's actions. I don't hate people's sins. I mean, I don't. I hate people's actions and sins. I don't hate people. I just hate their bad choices and what what they do with their free will that God so graciously gave to them, and with their life that God so lovingly created them. So that is this video. It's powerful. Oh man, is it powerful? God is a God of order. Don't forget that.